<laughs> oh my god. What the fuck? Dude, that's quite the intro. That was quite the intro for me. <laughs> What are you looking for? What are you looking for? What's he doing? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Oh, who's texting? <laughs> God. Let go. Hey, get off of it. Hey, drop it. <laughs> you are wild this morning. Get out of here. Hey. Ah, <sighs> good morning. Oh. You got stuff on your face because you're crazy. Come here. Alex made zucchini. Muffins? They're really good, but they're really dense, and if I eat one right now, I'm gonna pass out. So it was there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it wasn't on the floor. The guy, there were, uh, three packages I had to have the guy dig for that he didn't think existed. <coughs> well, one, but when he found this, he Why pulled out Monday morning. I don't know, there were two, <coughs> two tubes that got returned with prints from, like, way back in the day. The Mechagol, Mechagot. Did the people get their prints? From, I'm yeah. gonna, we're gonna reach out to them now. We never heard of it, so we're gonna reach out. They're from other countries, obviously, like, customs things. So it's a skateboard. Yeah. <laughs> And it's signed, this drawing of this dude tattooing. Bear tattooing this bear, I guess. I mean, it's cool. Yeah. I just don't know who it's signed by. There's like a note, possibly. Ah, here we there go. There it is, there's the information. Who's God? Trademark. Appreciate you, Alex and the Falconers, putting yourself out there, allowing us to have a look at your lives. Vlog. Oh, okay, I remember talking to the guy about this board, okay. His best friend, Cody McIntyre, is the best pro to come out of Texas, hands down. This gift is his newest board that just released. Uh, Cody is known throughout the skate scene community as Toothpick God. Nice. Skates with a toothpick in his mouth. That's what's up, though. That's cool. It's, it's the first board he's ever signed with the TB. The T Toothpick God initials. That's dope. I'll hang that in the house for sure. Nice. You should be careful skating with a toothpick, though. Don't try it at home. He's also the guy who trolled you. I trolled Ern on the live stream that time and said 2J just went live, which in turn made almost his whole live empty out. Yeah. I brought some sativa to smoke. Yeah, like weed? Yeah, dog. Boring. I'm rolling up a joint. Dirty Urn Special. Hopefully it's better than Alex's joint last night. Burning hay. Hmm. What, are you, what are we doing today? What's the plan? What's the plan? I don't know now. Uh -huh. It sounded so Yesterday, good the other day. Said, I know. You said that the vlog was going to be insane. Lit. I know, and then, I don't know. I just, then I was like, you know what? I'm not going to plan. I'm going to let the day right, take we're going me. Boulder. Are we? Yeah. Nice. What are we doing there? Have you ever been to the sink? The sink. I don't know. I just didn't. Just like ran out of the house to get shipping and I just. You are forgot. fucking dressed. Like. You're going to a fucking practice game for a fucking softball league. This socks say ain't no bad joke like a dad joke. You're a bad joke. What in the fuck? I don't know if I want to go anywhere with you today, actually. I can get changed. You can stop by my house. Can we? Yeah, I mean. <laughs> fuck. Bro, I can't. I can't even pan up. It's like. Ah. Uh, you got a trash or treasure hat. A shirt that I made, I can't even talk shit about it, but you matched it with some Nike Padre shorts that you wear because you got for free. Socks that had to be a Christmas gift. And God. shoes that, These I mean, the worst. The, worst. The, only, the only saving grace of that model is the Pharrell version because they're different. Well, <laughs> that's it. Yeah, we'll all stop by your house. Alex made muffins if you want one. It's tempting. There's zucchini. What are you going to get? Fit Kitchen. Oh, nice. Well, just make sure you get your work done before you eat. <laughs> Someone in the Twitch stream last night asked me if we still ship from the house. I was like, uh, <laughs> yes. Every day, bro. Man, yeah, some kid was like, hey man, my shirt looks like it was washed and dried a few times and worn for a while. Like, what? okay, well that never happened. Yeah. I was like, if you're unhappy with it, we'll be glad yeah. to return it for a credit, but um, nobody's worn <laughs> so, your shirt. Somebody just took it out for a spin. Gold. God, yeah, let's just go cruise, figure out what's up. You got the joint rolled already? No, we can go to my house and roll it. All right. Omar, what are you doing? What's it here? What is it? Oh, oh, I got an ice cream cone. I did it. <laughs> this is this.
This is where we went. This is where we went. This is where we went. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, what? Oh, I see. No. What? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> All right. Jesus fucking Christ. I even seen it again. You look like a fucking, you just woke up on Christmas morning. You look like your apartment's on fire and you had to run out. You're having laundry day, but for your whole life. <laughs> The sink is open. Yeah, you look like you're wearing everything but your kitchen sink. <laughs> Landmark for sink burgers. Fuck. An ugly crust pizza. There's a celestial seasonings factory. Oh, little teabagging. Hey. <laughs> what, you wanna tour that? Not really. All right, I got the extra battery. This one? Fuck little baby then. If it ain't Kodak black, 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 yeah. black backstage. <laughs> he deleted his Instagram. No. You deactivated. You didn't know this. This was yesterday. I thought you were on the Kodak news. I am, but man, that's what happens. You take a day off. What you took a day off yesterday? Of Kodak. I mean. Oh, you had to take a day off from your hands. Yeah. That's oh. Super weird. <laughs> very, very weird. Shit. Yeah, why do you do it? We don't know. Your favorite rapper is like an emotional teenage girl. <laughs> Kodak Black on stage blast Michael Rappaport says you could suck my dick. I mean, Michael Rappaport is really kind of should stop commenting as well. Have you ever heard of this Impossible Burger? Yes. Have you yeah. tried it? No, I haven't personally. Certain restaurants actually serve Impossible I'll Burger. Work. I'm gonna cop today. I'm gonna cop and cook today. Burgers for lunch and vegan burgers for dinner. Yeah, well, comparison. I like it. A comparison like video. It. Boom, son! Yeah. The Impossible Meat Challenge. Yep. <laughs> Sounds fucking fire. They look ridiculously like real meat. This army surplus store? <laughs> Enough. Yes. 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 Alright, here, I'm gonna get my fit going. <laughs> this is the one minute fit. Alright, one minute fit challenge. Set her on the ground. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's part of your. You put on gray sweatpants? Yeah. For this challenge? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? You look like a live action Keebler elf. Here it is. <laughs> It's definitely way better than it was. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh yeah, damn, bringing out the heat, yeah, son. Yeah, you know. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. Bro, sit. Oh, sit. <laughs> Pretty. Hey. Here it Down is. Here it is, the depression. Take it over to my career stats, Let's okay? Go. Why are you screaming? Depression Palace here. <laughs> this looks like a cam girl. Looks like a cam this girl. Is where she lives. <laughs> yeah. I'm remaking the bed. Look, my one win. I'll just got my own place. I only, I only love my bed and my mama. Here it is. <laughs> I'll smack those fucking glasses right off. Right. Look, even your dog is whining at you when you put the glasses on. Did you get the win? My one win? 1697. Damn! Days. And you've won one. <laughs> 16, where did it even go? 1697. One win. Is there a way to see how many kills? That's just yeah. solo game. Where I'm better at the other games. My stats are going to go up. No, I think it's 1600. Oh no. All right, roll this joint. Let's go. We got shit to do. What? What? Hey. Now turn right on to West. The uh, I was co say, you just point at it yourself. <laughs> it was like the longest thing <laughs> you didn't say anything for so long. I, I was thinking of which how to approach this. 1600 is not a lot. I bet you kids watching this have thousands. Yeah, they're kids. They're kids. They're children. Kids. Kids. Bang. You can't stop me. Fortnite master. Apparently they can't stop you. Apparently 1691 <laughs> people. Omar's birthday in a few days. Yeah. It's actually on the first, but I won't be here. We're celebrating it the day before. Teddy's going to Kais' podcast. They're going to talk shit. We're going to talk shit? They're going to talk shit. They're going to talk some real shit. Teddy's going to represent. <laughs> it's just going to switch lanes when it sees room. That's scary. Even though that didn't move the way that it jumped the line on the digital thing, yeah. you're like, oh boy. I don't know if it'll actually take the fucking Boy, you have to take it in this outside lane. Is it doing it? Yeah. Watch the curb, though. Yeah. <laughs> take over immediately. <laughs> that was amazing. You gotta test it out, bro. It works. I mean, it semi worked. It's just at the end, well, it got a little. Yeah. There, so it's basically the infrastructure. Don't pay. Fuck them.
Whoa. Is that a Miata? Yeah. It's cobblestone. You're not allowed to drive it's brick, up actually. it. actually. Brick. A parking meter <laughs> in Boulder. This is the second time today we've had to put money in a parking meter. Yep, you gotta, you know, you gotta pay to play. And if you wanna walk around Boulder, you gotta pay a little bit. <laughs> What's like, up? Nice. Can you guys hit a skate trick or no? Yeah, That's you. Yeah. All right, there we go. Randy should be done shipping as of now. Your packages are on the way. Hey, 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 off, off the fucking board. Yo, are you gonna hit every single one? It's helping. Get out. That was not cool. Omar, do not do it again. I'm not kidding. Shipping is done. I need to start painting. Earn and Brandy are gone. Ever since Japan, I've been crushing. Pocky? It's not said Pocky. I always said Pocky. My rap name was Little Pocky last week, but now it's a Little Pokey. Sounds different. After our burger expedition, I got these. These are not the Impossible Burger. This is what we had local. We'll have to try all of the above. Dogs are chilling, and I got to sit down and try to paint some more. I'm really sleepy. I might take like a really short nap, but I don't know either. <sighs> this bad boy, I'm going. There's been a change of plans. I'm not making my burgers. I'm making burgers tomorrow, I guess now. And we're going to see Us, which I know absolutely nothing about, except that my timeline on Twitter is so divided. This movie is a piece of shit. The next person's like, that's the best movie I've ever seen. We're gonna find out for ourselves, because the only way around is straight through. Eight o'clock, I did not go on a walk this morning, or yesterday, because I've been pretty exhausted. I've been super tired this week. Effort to not be so tired and not going on these crazy mile long walks all day or in the morning. I'm still able to like sneak some miles in the last couple of days, but it hasn't been like six, seven, eight, nine miles. Anyway, today is literally just paint, 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 paint. I've got to get a majority of this finished. Let me set this camera up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think that this is good framing. I don't really know for sure. All right, I've got to get this painting finished. At least, like, a huge chunk of it done today. Because I leave for Japan in a week. I'm pretty booked for tattoos in LA. I had one person cancel. Us is not a great movie. I mean, it's a good movie in the sense that it's entertaining and it makes you think. And visually, it's cool. But as far as the story making any sense, it doesn't really. At the end, after thinking about it for, like, 12 hours, it's just too far of a leap. Like, what they're trying to do and say, I think... Is too far of a leap with the information that you're given in the movie. That's how I feel. Some people say I need to go see it again. I don't normally like going to see movies twice, but it could happen. But some shit just really doesn't make a ton of sense to me. Like, at all. And I've read all kinds of theories, had a few conversations, but... Um, yeah, okay, I don't remember what else I was saying, but I have to... I go to Japan in a week. I need to get this finished. There's random work to do before, I, like, just leaving town again, work. You know, oh, it was tattoos that I was pretty much booked. I had a cancellation today in LA, so if you want to get tattooed in LA, teddy tattoo me at gmail.com. Japan, you can still email me, but I'm gonna be tattooing pretty sporadically, if at all. I'm gonna tattoo my one friend. I might not tattoo that many more people. We'll see. Because it's Japan, and I'm gonna be enjoying myself and working. All right, that's the morning. I'm gonna get started before Ern comes by to distract me for a couple of hours. I didn't like us. Really? Well, I did. Well, I didn't, and then I keep like put your seatbelt on. <sighs> you know, as I tweet about like not liking it, and then people start conversations about why I don't like it. Certain things don't make sense. Whatever, what have you? And it dances around being one of those movies you have to take like a deep dive into. Yeah. You know what I mean, and then some people are like, well, you're taking it too literal. Basically, some shit doesn't make sense to me, or is like a really far leap. It's not supposed to be all this like deep shit. But then other people have broken it down into you know. <laughs> Real the deep deepest, shit. Yeah, the deepest yeah. that you could possibly go. I'm upset that I'm even like caring at all, basically. It was like entertained for a movie or whatever, but yeah. I, at the end of it, I didn't feel like, oh, that was a great. I feel like some of the writing was just like huge. You are leaving a lot for you to remember a lot. I'd be like, oh, okay, I guess, you know. Like, I don't want to spoil it. So yeah. Earns time on camera. I don't even think he pointed the camera at himself, but that just turned into like a business meeting about the drop. Like, essentially, you know, running a clothing brand. <laughs> I think we do this every so often. Where I have like a, it's not a meltdown, I'm not mad. It's just that certain shit, like look, shit is expensive. Whoa, oh, Teddy, that was a white shoe. All right. 
Yes, 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 yes. Nothing crazy, but basically it's expensive, you know? I just make artwork. Most people who make clothing just don't really, I don't know. A lot of t-shirts are basically just two colors. Like two, three colors. Do I go crazy because I'm just making art and I'm from a background of like tattooing and colorful artwork and shit like that. But every time I print a shirt, it ends up being like, you know, eight, nine colors and it costs a fuckload, which thank God for people who buy all the stuff that I make. Like we usually do really well and we're still doing really well with it. I'm just aggravated at how expensive some shit is. And I don't know, I don't even know what is so aggravating about it really. Most things are set up to print one or two colors. The amount of money that I spend just making the artwork for the clothing uh, better is just, it catches up, you know what I mean? It's just hard, it's hard to keep up sometimes. Essentially, it's just been frustrating this morning, a little bit in the production side of things. Also getting ready to leave, so I don't really have time for anything not to be like exactly the way it needs to be. Either way, friends and family lookbook that went out that's closed, that stuff should start shipping here in the next few days. All of it should ship by Friday, hopefully. Public drop stuff already shipped. So if you are waiting on something from that, it is on the way. No stress there. Uh, doing all this and documenting it and like spending the time to vlog, you know, everything that it takes to do all the shit, sometimes I think becomes overwhelming. You know, maybe that's why I've been tired lately. I don't really know. I really enjoy making stuff. And I really enjoy being able to sell clothing. It's really awesome. And I really enjoy making vlogs. All this is really great. The traveling is really great. But man, the fucking business side of this shit is not the most draining, fucking annoying. Want to punch my own face in shit ever but instead of diving into the frustration and like letting it drive me fucking crazy and getting mad i'm just gonna continuously create i'm gonna keep making shit making shit is what gets me out of ruts and so instead of getting in a rut I keep myself out of it so Ern and brandy are coming over because it's probably in texting they have to ship some stuff last week i said there were some shirts that came in that were completely the wrong color colors actually like fire like i really like the color there's not a lot of them but there are some so some of those are going up on the friends and family site as well as a lot of extras that we have from previous friends and family exclusives that's all going up on the site too for people who just joined friends and family what i said Why not? the fake burgers so that I could do a taste comparison to real burgers. When you have a business meeting, you gotta go beyond meat. It's beyond beef. What? You didn't get the other one. What? They didn't have it. They didn't have it. Rub it in, Brad. They didn't have them. Yeah, this was you said the one. What? Yes, but it's just not the brand. They both do. It's just not the brand. This is green. I wanted orange. Still about to fry up some shit for my boy Ernie. That's the name, son. Behind the scenes of running a brand. I'm out here cooking burgers, barking orders. We got bags of bip, bip and bap bowls. Bip and bap in the motherfucking <laughs> ultra thin cheese slices. Full melt, son. Fake meat burgers. They kind of smell like beef, but they also kind of smell like Boca burgers. And now I'm gonna take them. Now Chef Ern is gonna finish it off. You, you guys are gonna see done. a bit. Oh, yeah, where are the burgers? Did he take them outside with him so I couldn't fuck them up? Uh, veggie bim bat rice bowl. Veggie bim bat rice bowl. Good, this is how we handle problems. We get proactive. We don't act stressed out. No. We don't act stressed in the car. We don't no. turn the camera off and then... Uh, we don't do that. <laughs> what do we do? We proactively fix the problem. Yes, and eat... And we eat vegan. We eat like fucking vegan kings. <laughs> Where's the butter? Look at this little pallet. Man, it's my little pallet. You know how it gets the water? Yeah. In the beginning? It's my prevention method. A little side squirt. What you got going on in here? A little mustard ketchup pickle. That didn't look very presentable. A little better. A little... Looking forward to this. The sashito peppers, though, are fucking the bomb. Brand, did you eat some? Get over here and hurry, because you're going to lose out. Are you on steak today? Yeah, babe. Give you that tube steak. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, way too much. Uh, it's great. I wonder if you didn't tell me it was vegan. Good burger. Pretty hard to tell. I mean, by far the best veggie burger I've ever had. Maybe that's why you don't remember eating it. A little bokeh taste to it. A little bit, but not really. 
All right, we just crushed down burgers, fake burgers. They're actually pretty fucking good. Um, I'm pretty surprised. I want to try the, I want to try the impossible one next. Aaron and Brandy have left for a minute. Friends and family is already uh, eating up this drop. So they're going to ship that today. So that'll all leave today. The friends and family drop from this week. I think I already said this today, but it should ship by Friday. It's pretty much just going down today. It's been a little stressful, but now it's a little more chill. So, you know, Whew. burgers eating. Relaxing for a minute. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta chill out. You just gotta chill out and regroup. I need to chill out and regroup and paint this. So, the rest of my day I'm gonna sit in this chair and paint. And probably sit in this chair and edit as well. But we're gonna paint a little bit first. Because it's only like 2 o'clock. Alright, back to the painting board. Mm -hmm. 